I've been wanting to make a video on a couple of terms that people have really thrown around for a while now. And I think it really hits the core of some of the issues we're dealing with now with the credit debacle. But it's kind of at a, at a, at a deeper level. So the things I want to go over are the ideas of savings, savings, consumption, consumption, and investment. And you hear these a lot. Everyone obviously says, oh, I've invested in the stock market, or I've invested in a house. And I really want to give you a, a framework for how I think about these ideas. And frankly, I haven't seen them depicted this way in, in any uh, economics book, although they've, they've kind of touched on this. But I think this is really how you should think about these things. So if you save money, you know, and I think we all know what that means, that's money that you didn't spend, there's a couple of things that you can do with it. You can either consume your money, or you can invest your money. So let's just think about a bunch of different situations and think about whether those things are consumption or investment. So let's say let's say I have a, I don't know it's it's a hundred thousand dollars that I'm I'm dealing with. So let's say I take that hundred thousand dollars and I build a factory. I build a factory, and I think that that factory is going to be able to produce I don't know. I'll make up some product. It'll be able to produce cars uh, more efficiently and cheaper than any other car factory out there. Well, I think this we, we'd all agree that this is this is an investment. And why is it an investment? Because I'm taking this hundred thousand dollars and I'm putting it to some use that is creating hopefully more value than my original one hundred thousand dollars. In fact, I'm expecting some type of a return on this investment. And I've made a bunch of videos on what a return on investment is, and you can usually quantify it, right? If I take a hundred thousand dollars and I build this factory and this factory spits out fifty thousand dollars a year, it's probably creating at least fifty thousand dollars a year of value, assuming that nothing corrupt is happening in our system. In fact, it's normally creating more than fifty thousand dollars a year of value. It may be creating a hundred thousand dollars a year of value. Fifty thousand of that maybe is going to the person who's doing the production, and then the other half of the value is actually going to the consumer of of whatever uh, this factory is making. And you have to think about it because if all of the value went to the person who produced the factory, then there's not a huge incentive for someone to use its products anymore. But anyway, that's not the topic of this discussion. We're just trying to get a, a mental framework on what consumption is versus investment. So I think we all agree that if I, were to, if I were to build a factory, that this is, let's say I'll do everything in green as investment. So building a factory is an investment. Now let's say that I, um, I don't know, I'm, I'm homeless. I'm homeless and I have this hundred thousand dollars and because I'm homeless I don't have a place to go and eat dinner and rest and relax and because I don't have that I can't get a job and I can't become a productive member of society so maybe I'm going to use this hundred thousand dollars to buy a simple house that meets all of my needs so let's say build a simple house and I'll do that in a neutral color build build a simple house simple house. So this is my other use of this $100,000. Instead of building a factory, I'm going to build a simple house. And this house, it provides shelter for me and my family. It allows us that, that kind of security that now my kids can go to school, and they can themselves become more productive citizens. I now have an address. I can um, I have a place to take a shower that allows me to go get a job, and I can now create value for society as a whole instead of being you know on the corner and, and, and begging uh, for money from people. I would argue that this is also an investment. Why is it? Because I'm taking this $100,000 that maybe I had or someone gave to me. I'm taking this $100,000 and it's generating a return. And what is that return? Well, in a factory, it's maybe a little easier to quantify. But at minimum, it's this work that I'm able to do because I now have a house, because I have the security, I have the address, I have the shelter, I'm able to relax. It's that security, and it's also the return that probably my kids are going to be able to uh, now contribute to society. Maybe if they grew up homeless, they would have never been able to contribute. And now that they had a, a roof over their head and they're able to go to school, etc., they are able to d give some economic value back to society. And it's hard to value, you know. Maybe I didn't have any job before, and now I have a job, and I can contribute 
$30,000 a year to society. Maybe I'm working at someone's factory. Uh, maybe I'm providing some other, maybe I'm a farmer now. I, whatever. I'm providing some source of value. And maybe my kids, if they never got an education, they would have, you know, been, uh, maybe they could have made, added 10000 of value per year to people. And now they can add 20000 of value. So that difference would also be some of the return on this investment. So I also consider this to be an investment. Now my question to you is, let's say that I already had a house. This is an investment. Let's say I already had a house and my family is happy and we have everything we need. We have food on the table and uh, my kids go to school and I'm able to get a job and all of that exists. But let's say I still have $100,000 and I use that $100,000, I'll do it in yellow, again another neutral color. And let's say I use that $100,000 to put some uh, granite countertops. Granite countertops. I have some money left over. Let's say I'm going to add a bathroom. Add a bathroom to my house. And I will, I don't know, I'll put the, the latest hardwood floors just so that I'm so that my family will be impressed. Hardwood floors, and, and you can imagine. And maybe I add, I add 2,000 square feet. You normally can't get all of that for $100,000, but I think you'll bear with me. So I'm essentially doing some major home improvements. So my question to you, is this an investment, or is this consumption? Now, in our everyday world, the way with most people we deal with, they will call this, oh, I've invested in my house. And why are they saying that? Because they say by spending $100,000 in, in the house in this way, that maybe, you know, if you've watched um, the Home and Garden channel, they're doing this all the time, that if you, know, if you, if you pour this $100,000 into your house, that maybe the value of your house is going to increase by $150,000. Or someone else, all of a sudden, is going to perceive the value of your house as being you know, 150, and they'll say, well, you got a $50,000 return on that investment. I'd argue that that is not investment. That is speculation. You are essentially piling money into this stuff, and I'll do this in red. Consumption is in red. So this is consumption. Consumption is red. What's happening here truly economically? When you add granite, or you add an extra bathroom, or hardwood floors, this extra 2,000 square feet, is it making Anyone who's living in that house more productive? Is it making you harder working? Is it making you more likely to invent um, the cure for cancer or more likely to invent a, a way of getting cheap energy or, um, or, or, or produce more widgets? No. It, it's, it's just, if anything, providing more things for you to have to take care of that you're not going to be able to focus as much on your work or more energy is going to have to be expended to maintain this type of place, I mean, to, to heat and cool a 2,000 square foot house. So if anything, by actually pouring the $100,000 here, you're actually creating something that is going to suck more out of society. In fact, in no way is this going to contribute to the collective wealth of society. The last two examples I gave contribute to the collective wealth of society, some of which you share, and that is your return on the investment. But as a whole, this is an investment into society, and it's going to cre create a, 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 it's going to make the pie bigger. This right here does not make the pie bigger. It might make you a little bit happier, might make your ego feel a little bit better, uh, let, your, let your pride grow and your self-righteousness grow and, and show other people that you've arrived, but it's not going to increase the wealth of society. And when you say that you've invested, you're really just saying, I've speculated. I, what you're saying is by p paying this $100,000, you're going to find essentially a greater fool out there who... You know, before they could have done the same thing. They could have bought your house, spent $100,000 and done this if this is what would have made them happy. But what you're saying is essentially that you're going to find somebody out there who's willing to pay $150,000 extra dollars for something that should have only costed $100,000. And if, I, if anything, if you use this at all, the value of this is going to go down. So you're just somehow assuming that, and you're assuming that the granite countertops that you choose are going to be the taste that someone else would like, or that the hardwood floors are going to be the taste that someone else is like. I would actually argue that when you customize your house in this way, you are you are creating $100,000 of consumption to your taste, and I would be surprised if someone else truly is willing to pay more than $100,000, unless they are being in some way irrational or they can finance this because it's being, it's, it's part of the, the mortgage. Anyway, this is, I think, a, you know, just, just the big picture. Investment adds value to society. Investment, a simple house adds value to society. Consumption is something where you people might call it an investment because it's kind of speculation. It might 
find some other guy who's willing to emotionally pay more for something, but it is not in any way. It's money that's burned. It's not creating more value for society. I'll continue this in the next video.